In this video in the Valixo project series, we're going to build a project profit and loss report. Here we see a project specific profit and loss. As we select the project, and we select the financial period, the revenue and expense information are updated. Let's go about building this report. Once we have established a connection to our ERP, we can start. Let's start with those behind the scenes items that can help us with the automation of our report. First, we'll place the name of our connection here in cell A1 of our parameters worksheet. In this way, if we later create a connection to another tenant, we can easily use the report with that tenant as well. Next, if we are going to allow the project to be selected from a list, we need a list of the currently active projects. We can accomplish this by bringing in the project number and description from the predefined Blixo Projects generic inquiry. We'll be basing our report on the account groups that are defined within the project module. To do that, we'll need a list of those account groups and the assigned type for each. We can get this from the PM Account Group generic inquiry. Our main focus will be on the income and expense groups. For the last section of our parameters, we'll use the Valixo financial period list function to list all or a subset of the financial periods configured in our ERP. Now that we've completed the behind the scenes data, let's build the report itself. First, let's bring the name of our connection onto this worksheet so that it's a little easier to reference. Next, we'll give our report a title and get ready for specifying the project name and the financial period. We'll want to populate this cell with our project names list. We do this with Excel's data validation feature. We'll want a list, and the source for that list is in the second column of one of those GI functions that we placed on the parameter sheet. We can then do something similar for defining the financial period. We want a list, and the source for that list is on our parameter sheet. We'll need the project CD value for the rest of our report, so let's look that up using the description from our pull down. We'll use Excel 365's XLOOKUP function using the project we selected and our list of projects on our parameter sheet. Let's define the headings for our revenue and expenses sections and add the total for each section. For the revenue section, we'll want to list all the account groups for type income. We can do this using Excel's filter function to return all the groups from our list where the corresponding type is income. We can then set up the expenses section in the same way. Now, let's get the description for each of our listed account groups. We can do that using the Felixo account group description function and reference the connection name and the name of the account group. And then add the current balance for each group. We'll enter the function for the revenue. and then copy it down for all the expenses. Let's format the column for consistency. We can remove any extra rows we don't need. Hide the behind the scenes parameters. And finally, hide the supporting data in column A. Now we have a completed project-specific profit and loss statement. We hope you've found this information helpful, and we look forward to seeing you in further videos from us. Thanks for watching.